Woo! Love it. Pie, mate. Good spot. very much like Holy Bay here. It's like real like uh, hippie, everyone's smoking weed and there's a load of bars, cafes, restaurants everywhere. It's quite big, but it's really chilled. It's quiet, it's nice. It's not like, you know like our Patong and all that is like real full on nightlife. This is really relaxed nightlife. If you're looking for that, this is definitely a good place to come to. Yeah, it's hard for me to film out here at night because it goes blurry because it's this is a rubbish camera. But uh, yeah, it's nice, like it's, uh, very nice. <laughs> like, look at the lanterns in there. This is what I'm talking about. That you know what sort of vibe I'm sort of vibe I'm talking about. Oh yeah. By the way, bikes, mopeds. You can get for about 100 or 150 baht per bike here per day. It's well cheap. 100 baht a day is, is sick. There are a lot of tourists here as well. Very different to actually a lot of the places we've been to recently. There's not really been any tourists at all. Well, obviously they're all here. <laughs> Picture quality is gonna be terrible. I'm sorry, guys, but we've just stumbled across this like little co like, concert. It's like real. Uh, everyone's sitting on the floor and everyone's sitting on the floor up there, like spinning plates and stuff. It's like proper like hippie style. I don't really know how else to say it. I mean, it's not offensive, is it? To say hippie. No. Yeah, it's very hippie up here. Like it's, it's very relaxing. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah, I suppose it's quite. A, it's not. It's not a negative term, is it? Um, but it's pretty cool in here. I like it. Just got myself a kombucha. They're all playing music and just sort of just vibing and chilling. So we're just probably going to spend the rest of the evening in here and then uh, then get back and get a good night's sleep. So I'll turn this off now. See you in the morning. Ah, what a lovely sleep. It's uh, actually not that warm up here, which is good at last. Hallelujah. There's quite a lot to do around here, but it's all very touristy. Like, you, to go and see a waterfall. Bear in mind, it's dry season, right? 400 baht per person. You go to the canyon, which is free entry, which we will be doing later for sunset. And also do a viewpoint too. Again, viewpoints, you've got to pay 20 to 50 baht per person. And that is obviously smoke season. No point in me going to a viewpoint. So in terms of things to do here at the moment, it's really just relax around the, around the town. It's very chilled around here. Go to the canyon for sunset later and then probably go and find some more live music. That was really good last night. Last night, there's like real earthy beats, little hippie, hippie joint. Yeah, it was cool. Now, breakfast is actually quite expensive in Pai, but we have found a little hidden gem down a side road. Very affordable and it's, it's good food. Um, break the fast, it's called. Yeah, the food was good in there, for sure. Even Nat ate it all, and she never eats it all. It doesn't look like much from outside. We almost didn't go in, um, but the, the prices are really good because it, it, it's like you're looking at upwards of 200 baht for a breakfast here, 200 to 300 baht per breakfast. Um, and in there it's 130 baht per person. And it was good as well. You've got quite a lot of there. Even had, even had lovely avocado for Natalia on there. Yeah, so I'm happy I've got avocado. Free entry, um, about 13 minute drive from Pai, and takes about 20, 25 minutes to walk up here. And then you can see sunrise and sunset from there. If the smoke doesn't stop us. Right, just pulling into the car park now, and it's just started raining and they are big old raindrops. Uh, yeah, I guess they might just fucking park up where they want. Yeah. Right, immediately there's quite a lot of tourists here. It's 
half five, so we've got an hour until sun until actual sunset. Um, and there's like trucks of tourists turning up, so it's quite a busy spot. You go through this little marketplace here as well. You get food in there, there if you really want, if you're hungry. Didn't they not? No. Uh, the prices are all reasonable through there, so it's not some tourist trap. At least, yeah, we've got a 20 minute walk up here now. In the rain. In the rain. Right, that walk was not 20 minutes. That was five minutes. Yeah. No, it's but that. you can walk around all of the... But you can walk around all this up here, all the ridges and that. Come on, let's go and walk, have a deal, walk, a, walk on the ridges. It's quite, it's actually quite big up here. I don't even really know what I was expecting, but I wasn't expecting this. Hard out. <clears throat> Very windy. Looks like a storm's coming in. Glad I'm off that. Uh, we were on that ledge over there earlier. It's starting to piss it down now. We're gonna wait though. Big old raindrops, but oh, we haven't experienced rain in a while. I kind of miss it. It's quite refreshing, actually. Yeah. And I'd much rather be sitting here when it's raining than riding that bike. Yeah. Got away for some lightning bolts. Mm -hmm. might, get some, might get some sick views of some lightning bolts from here. I keep on getting grit all in my eye. Yeah, well, over there was my bad. Face. The wind was crazy. That's one way to flush out all the tourists. <laughs> Just start raining. I like it. It reminds me of home. <laughs> it's making me need to go for a wee. Yeah, and it is quite, it's actually quite cold, isn't it? Mm, it's cold. quite chilly now. It's quite nice. We're always typical Brits, always complain it's too hot, oh, yeah, too I know. cold. I know, the amount of times I say it's too hot and now it's, and now it's nice and now I'm like, no, it's too cold it, now. it is a bit cold <laughs> now to be honest. It's so cold. <laughs> the things I do for you, right, just to see the fire What, you wanted it to rain the other day? I'm cold. <laughs> <laughs> it's alright. The rain dropped. We'll go soon. Look, the edge of the cloud is there. It's coming down quite hard now, to be honest, isn't it? Yeah. We're the only ones left. We actually are the only ones left. Hope you appreciate this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we bailed. You're, you're not, not, worth, not worth that much. It is pissing it down. But we found all the tourists. Everyone's waiting under this. It's pretty heavy. I'm not riding back in here, so I'm going to wait. I've been willing it to rain for so long, and it rains now. Typical, isn't it? Typical. It rained on the way back, and it was cold as, and I've changed my mind. I won't moan it's hot again ever, I promise. Lies. <laughs> Until it's hot again. We both agreed that was a lot more fun than a sunset anyway, right? Yes, definitely. Definitely. Now, as always, I'm hungry. I think we're probably gonna go out in the food truck again tonight and have a little look around and see if we can find some cool live, mu live music. There doesn't seem to be a shortage of it around here. As I say, it's very, um, that sort of thing around here. But yeah, let's go. live music in Pi. This place here is, is a good one. <clears throat> it's called Jazz House Pi and they've got a uh, live music playing at night um, and there's all every time we've come in here there's always someone sort of just vibing on the stage it's just so nice in here.
They've got like, little fairy lights everywhere and they've got hammocks. They've got homemade kombucha, candles out everywhere. Like, it's a proper nice spot. Um, so if you're looking for somewhere like that when you come to Pi, just give this place a go, Jazz House Pie. You probably won't be disappointed. It's it's really nice. Vibe, it says it? it's closed, but it's not. Yeah, Google says it's closed, but it's it's fully open. Um, and they've got like events on. They've had them on both nights now. So and there's always someone in here, just like just playing music and everyone's just relaxing. It's nice. It's not very busy. Um, it's really nice. So yeah, definitely recommend. Pie, mate. Good spot for sure. We're leaving tomorrow though, unfortunately. Um, we actually were debating staying another night, but uh, we've got the bikes for only a certain amount of days and uh, it's just easier for us just to stick to the plan. Uh, so yeah, we're leaving tomorrow. We've got about 184 kilometer drive tomorrow. So I'm gonna get some sleep. I haven't had a shower or anything yet from the whole day. So see you in the morning. Right, we're all packed up to leave today, but we like it so much. We've actually just booked another hotel here and we're gonna stay here for another night, ride home tomorrow instead. Um, yeah, this place is awesome.